Right, we are back. We are three minutes from the start, from the second round of the women's. We're looking at semi B. Uh, A. So, two and a half minutes to go for that. The wind has gotten really shifty. We saw a big shift there um, in that last race for the men's. Uh, Benoit being caught out just a little bit, seeing mm. his lead quite reduced. So yeah, he had a lot on there. That it really goes to show that anything can happen because he had a huge lead and yeah, pretty shifty, kind of crazy out there. So we'll see how this battle goes with the girls. So now here we have the results from the last one. Yeah, so Poema did really well. She mm. seems to have recovered her form. Magdalena Wojcicki, she had an she amazing it. race. Yeah, she's really climbed there. And Katie Dobson. But looks like Poema's fairly secure. As long as she doesn't make any grave mistakes in this race, she should be through to the finals. Mm. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like we're going to have two fairly French dominant finals as well here between the men and the women. It's like a, a repeat of the Euros, pretty much. Exactly. Um, but yeah, like I say, anything can happen. Although well, not quite, because we don't have Max. In the mm, final. Yeah, that was. Unfortunately, quite a he shame. won't be able to repeat. Yeah. For this, and uh, he's got to try next year again for his goal for being the youngest world champion ever. But yeah, I guess he's so young. He he has lots of years to try. But there are other <laughs> there are other youngsters coming through too. Oh, so I, I, it was Benoit has made it. Okay. Yeah, Benoit made it. So we have three Frenchmen here. We've got Theo de Ramacol, Axel Mazzella, and Benoit Gomez, and then we've got Ricardo from Italy. Which is Italy. also sixteen years old. So yeah. just yeah. one year yeah. old than Mac. Exactly. Oh, he will be so happy so with that. Could that be a cool thing for Italy? Youngest Let's world see. champion Let's ever? See. Yeah. Let's see. Less than a minute to go. So back with the women. Looks like they're all going uh, all going off on starboard here. And they will be keeping their eyes peeled for these crazy Although shifts. I, trying to keep them clean kites? there. Yep. So those two purple kites. Uh, two purple ozones, Nina Julia. and Maddie from the UK. Um, then we've got Poema and Katie both on blue ozones. One fly surfer, which is Magda from Poland. She'll be pushing super hard here um, to, to see if she can get that top spot. And Gisela Polito on that black ozone. Here they go for the start. Five, four, three. To, oh, oh, jibing round. I wonder if that was Maddie Anderson. Gisela firing off the pin there. Purple Ozone, Nina from Poland. Clear start from the committee. Clear start. I think that's Poema at the top of our screen on that blue Ozone. Here we just see the replay. Just missing that start, jibing round. If she goes off on port, she could potentially come in well, like Benoit did. First person tacking out, that's Magda from Poland on that fly surfer. Oh, the other, is that somebody oh, involved in the race? Is that interesting. Yep, that's that Poema? Poema. Poema has... Unlucky. Okay, so I wonder with, with these results, if Magda wins this and say Poema... Looks like the wind's yeah, gotten very light. A lot of light. pumping going around. I wonder if they'll can this one. It's important to see where Lorian. So we've got it's Magda at the bottom of our screen on that fly surfer. Nina on that purple ozone. Magda looks like she's in a bit more breeze. Yeah, yeah, going fast. And I think that is Maddie Anderson on that purple ozone. She hit that right corner coming in poem. Ah, okay she's poem no no huh. i think that could be katie dabson on that blue ozone okay. magda coming in super well to that windward on the fly surfer Done amazingly well again yeah good job on her and we've got gisella well gisella's oh, that's no, a that's, super she's tight not gonna make that. i don't think she's gonna make it no she could do she could well ah, do yeah. Oh, she's just going to make it. Squeaking in. Yeah, she's made it. She's made it. Magda jibing out. Looks super light here. Gisela splitting from the pack, jibing. Both purple ozones. 
uh, that one who missed the start has made a good comeback, actually. So we've got Magda coming downwind here. Good, clean breeze. She'll be hoping that no crazy shifts Gisella come in. Gisela seems to have gained a little bit. I just think, see Poema's relaunch. I think that blue ozone is Poema. If that is Poema, I think Magda could have a chance of making it into this finals. Huh. If she yeah, can just stay on her board and keep yeah, this lead. Yep. Exactly. We need just to do some calculation at the hand because they are so close on mm. each other. All right. So we've got the both purple ozones driving now, just ahead of Gisela. Tight battle of the ozones here. Can you see who's who? I, I can't see from here. I, I want to say that... Purple I reckon black. the one tacking out is Maddie Anderson. And the looks second like, purple, you mean? Yeah, yeah, and the purple tacking now. Nina from Poland. Magda also tacking... And I think on that blue ozone is Katie Dabson from the UK. Okay, so now a bit of different tactics going on because yeah. Magda went out a bit farther. She doesn't look like she's in a lot of breeze. Yeah. And the purple ozone up in front looks like she's sailing in a bit more breeze. Yeah, Could I think so. Could she take advantage like uh, Magda did? May well do. We could have another massive switch up here. I think both girls on our screen now, two girls from Poland. Maddie hitting that corner. I think... She could be coming in well here. It's going to be tight at that it's cross. It's going to be super tight. Is that like j attacking um, early again? Magda going for that tack. I think Magda may have just held on to her lead here. Yep. Yeah, That's that fine. was solid. Done good. Yeah, she's got a good lead there. Gisela Polito tacked very early. I am not sure if she can make the ley line Another this tight time. ley line, especially with that dirty wind from Nina's kite as well. Magda looking good for that ley line. Looks pretty light at the windward. I think you don't want to be tacking too close there. Okay, Magda there makes it goes. around easy. Good, really, really good riding. Well, I think from this the time Gisella, Gisella will have to tack again. Yeah, she will do. All of them tacking. Oh, or maybe not Nina. Oh, Nina's pumping, going. Pumping, Nina's pumping. Can she make it around? Oh, that's oh 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 no no no! no. I think she's got yes. it. She's got oh. it. Yeah, yeah wow. girl, awesome. Yeah, we we all know that feeling when you're when you just got a pump. Remember, you're also not allowed to use that mark. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, look at the eyelids. Oh, good see. on her. She did. I mean, we know how difficult it is to keep pumping and to keep the speed mm -hmm. pumping because if you miss one pump, it stops. Exactly. Uh, so jiving out. Oh, Magda with a sick lead there. Two more jibes to go. Right. Let's go do some math. Oh, sorry. Let's do some math. So, so Magda currently on seven points. Mm -hmm. If she gets a bullet here, that will be eight. eight. Poema will be getting a very bad result because she's way at the back. I. But, it, but is it, if it, if she's they'll both be on eight points. Is it the most bullets that goes I through or the I most recent I think it's the bullet? best result that you get, so it might be the tie break. Yeah. Yeah. We will have to see. It's down to the wire then. Wow. One more jibe for Magda. And that's also assuming that nothing happens at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's very shifty. You can get very unlucky and get stuck in a hole even if you're leading. Exactly. I'm looking on the top mark, a blue kite, blue ozone kite. Oh, yeah, we have blue ozone swimming at the weather mark at the moment. It just missed. Last, look at it. Look at look at Magda pumping, Magda pumping is down that pumping reach. Pumping on a reach. It must be super it's light. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> She's got this. Yeah, still not re-engaged. She's still pumping. It's also fairly Whoa. low in the water. She really... Oh. What's going on here? She's, She's jiving. jiving again. She's jiving. I we have a huge shift really at the moment and a drop wonder what's going on here. Double, jiving double again. Jiving. Yeah. And then through. Ooh, can she? Keeping composed. Oh, okay, that was. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's been a bit of a shift here. Beautifully well done, done by Magda. Okay, now it all depends on where Poema's going to finish. Looks that like this is also in the water Nina in the back. pumping I for the finish as well. Could be Nina or Maddie Anderson there. Both purple ozones. G Gisella Gisella's jiving. called that jibe early. 
Yeah, this is a wacky shift for these girls. They've they've got a lot on here. Yeah, they're, they're doing well. Pumping, pumping. Maddie pumping there. One, one, and, and she's made it. Second. Looks like and Katie Gisella Dabson going for double jive as well. Gisella getting through there. Let's see if this blue ozone, she's poema. Yeah, we'll see if it's, Katie, yeah. yeah. Wow, so another huge switch up and we still don't know who is going, who is the first girl through to those finals.